brought to you by GTA. We start with you. In dire need of a loving and stable foster home. That's what the Department of Public Health and Social Services says Guam's 270 foster children need immediately. Administrator for Child Protective Services at DPHSS, Linda Rodriguez. We've uh, um, asked our foster parents to take in children, but of course we don't have any more foster homes, so we try to place them in our group homes, which is uh, our Ali shelter for children or sanctuary, but those facilities are also filled. The shelters are meant to be for emergency situations. However, children have stayed there from six months to a year. Some 49 children reside with the island's 33 licensed foster families. 123 children live with relatives or family friends. Foster care licensing social worker Grace Iwashita. We have foster parents who, you know, I, they, they try it and they decide it's for them. Um, but then we also have other families who, after maybe trying it once, they decide maybe it's not for them. But really, what you can do is try. To become a foster family requires an individual to be of at least 18 years of age, receive a court clearance, and undergo a few screenings. They know that Gov Guam covers the child's health insurance, and the family is given a monthly stipend based on the child's age. Grants for child care are also available. This group home for foster children under construction is addressing the need for more foster families, while the number of foster children continues to increase. The final touches on the DPHSS group home in Barragata come amid the introduction of Bill 159-35 by Senator Teresa Lahi and Senator Mary Torres. It will grant the director of DPHSS the ability to increase the facility's capacity. The idea for the bill started last term and was motivated by the case of a four-year-old girl who was raped while her family sought shelter in an abandoned building. It's easy for us to kind of look the other way, but really we can't anymore. There are just so many children in need that we can't. So we need foster homes. We have to do whatever we can to help support them. She says that expanding the group home by twofold is a possibility. As other shelters continue to be at capacity, she lots current foster families for their inspiration. We've pulled together and we've got a facility now, uh, thanks to many people, including the Regalo Foundation. But we have a facility and there's a lot of hope. I'm hoping that at least children can be safe while they sleep. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tomas Manglonia. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.